uh, the Cougars opened the season dominating Utah Valley State College last weekend. Our Tony Cook went to the game to see what the rugby team is really all about. I like it because it's kind of like football and I'm a big fan of football. Well, they don't have pads for one, and it's just non-stop. It's awesome. I love the contact, the tackling, the continual play. The fun sport I've ever played. The lights are on, it's Friday night, there's a leather ball, and it's full tackle. It may sound like football, but chances are this sport is like nothing you've ever seen. You know, it's a lot different. I mean, initially, I, I would tell people when they would, they would say, what, what, is, what is rugby? I'd be like, well, it's a mixture of soccer and football. It's really simplistic. It's, you know, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's like nothing else. Because you have the physicality of football, but at the same time, if I make a tackle, I've got to get right back up because it's 80 minutes, the ball is live. You know, I think the biggest difference in rugby and football is uh, rugby, you know, you're always hurt. You know, the, it's a lot more physical with the, the fact that you have no pads and you're always, you know, tackling or pushing or running, things like that. The players take their team history very seriously. In rugby, jersey numbers are assigned to positions, not players. And those who earn a starting spot are recognized in a pregame ceremony. Uh, that's actually one of the coolest parts that, that we do right before the game. They uh, get everybody together and then they name off each of the starters. Um, and, and hand them their jerseys, and it's just a really cool thing to be recognized in front of your teammates. It's something that's really special. You get the jersey, and you know that there are many guys that have played before you that have played in that jersey, and so it makes it a big deal. I mean, there's a lot of tradition in this program. It's we are very proud um, of what we have here and the tradition, and, you know, these kids, there's been a lot of great rugby players that have gone before them that have worn those jerseys, and, um, you know, it's a big deal, so we make a big deal out of it. Head coach David Smith knows all about the history and tradition of BYU rugby. With one of the longest coaching tenures at BYU, he's been around for most of it. Yeah, I've been here, well, as a kid, I was here as a player in 1983, and then I came back to coaching, um, moved back here in 1990. So this is, what, 16, 17 years. Until a few years ago, rugby championships were held on Sunday, meaning many of BYU's strongest, most successful teams never claimed their rightful title. Um, but it was tough for the kids because they would work so hard, play so well, you know, and get to a point where they were a very competitive team, but they were never able to have the opportunity to compete, so it was tough. It's been able to play in the playoffs for about four or five years, and the last three years we made it to the Final Four, and then the last two years we made it to the championship game and lost. Now all that has changed, and after championship appearances the last two years, the goal is simple. You know, our goal is to, to do exactly the same as we did last year, only go one step further. Tony Cook, BYU Sports Network.